a look at what happened. Oh. Donald Trump was quickly taken off the stage by Secret Service agents after a bullet grazed his right ear during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, Saturday. The FBI called the shooting an assassination attempt. A prosecutor said the suspected gunman and at least one attendee are dead. As you know, uh, uh, you know, there was a grandstand, a very large area, a lot of people there when this all unfolded. The former president had uh, come out and begun to speak shortly after six o'clock this evening, excuse me, this evening. Uh, and within about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, a number of sounds were heard and it became apparent that shots were being fired um, in that direction. It was a chaotic scene. Uh, law enforcement, I believe, acted heroically, quickly identifying and, uh, and, and neutralizing the threat as well as responding to assist the various victims. Trump's campaign said the former president was fine after the ordeal. The FBI identified the shooter as 20-year-old Thomas Crooks. There's been no word on the motive. Eyewitnesses described the chaotic scenes after short run out. We noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police are like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. President Joe Biden, Trump's eye cry for condemned the attack as well as former President Barack Obama. Trump's private jet landed shortly after midnight Sunday at Newark Airport in New Jersey, where he planned to spend the night at his private residence.